Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with another video and this time we're going to be doing a few and a few repairs. So as you guys can see, all of the charms stayed on pretty well. Um, just the backstory on why we're doing so many repairs. So she was basically telling me that she had to break up a fight between her brothers. And so she did have a few nails cracked. Like they didn't break, but they did crack. So that's why we went ahead and just took them off. And we're going to replace them just so they don't eventually break off. So I'm going in with my extra extra coarse safety drill bit. And I'm just following the acrylic all the way down. And this drill bit is pretty sharp. So I'm able to file down the acrylic pretty quick um so i just go around the cuticle area and then just following the rest of the nail until all of the acrylic is completely off and of course making sure that as i'm doing this i'm not putting too much pressure on the nail because i don't want to cause friction because then it will cause the client's nail to um, burn and then right here i'm just going in and trimming these nails that, that were actually broken just um cutting them all the way down that way i don't have to do any extra falling and then for the ones that are not broken i'm just going in and just falling them around the cuticle area and just removing the gel top coat Alrighty, so after we finish doing all of the falling, I'm just going in with a cuticle pusher and we're just pushing back those cuticles to expose the new growth and help with reducing lifting. So we're going to go ahead and do that on all of the nails. And just a little reminder that the prepping part of the acrylic uh, application is the most important step because this is how you prevent your lifting. So again, you want to make sure that you push those cuticles re uh, back really good and then of course that you remove the shine from the natural nail as well because if not you will get lifting the reason why is because our body produces a lot of oils those oils tend to be on our nail plate so if you don't have any nails right now and you look down at your nails they look pretty shiny and so that's just the shine that you want to remove because again if not your nails will lift very easily so same thing y'all going around that cuticle area and then following the rest of the nail and during this step i am using my one 80 sending bands which are available on my website and then i'm using my e-file at 8000 rpms but as always just use it at whatever speed you feel comfortable using it at Alrighty, so after we finish removing the shine, we just dust the nails off and then we're going to go in and apply the nail tips. And I am using my 3XL square nail tips and I'm using the KDS glue to apply them. Um, so just making sure that of course your nail tips fit exactly from sidewall to sidewall. You don't want them to be too big or too small because then you will get lifting or breakage. So make sure that they fit perfectly. If you have one that maybe fits a little bit too small and then the next one fit a little bit too big, just go with the one that's slightly a little bit bigger and then just file it down on the sides perfectly. The reason why I had to do this is because I was miss or I ran out of one of the numbers that would have fit this nail perfectly. So that's just what I had to do to make it work. So next we're going in and just trimming down the tip of the nail, which is what we did last time so i'm just making sure that they're all the same size and then now i'm just going in with that same 180 sending band and we're just blending that nail tip right in the middle you can do this with your regular hand file but just to save a little bit of time i'm just going in with my 180 sending band and i'm just using it at 8000 rpms and after this we're going to go in and just dust the nail off, and we're going to go in with the primer and of course, just applying the primer on the natural nail only. And this is just going to help the acrylic adhere a lot better to the natural nail and also helps with preventing lifting. After we finish applying the primer, we're going to go in with the acrylic and I'm using the color cover blush by JCBD Concepts and I'm also using their monomer. 
and i do want to mention like i was gonna cut this part out and do the other hand but i wanted to use this as an example of how important it is to use your acrylic systems at the correct temperature so you want to make sure that your work area is always at room temperature now my um nail room like it was pretty warm um i know here in arkansas it's been in the hundreds like literally like the high 90 90s or like low 100 degrees every day and so my nail room was pretty warm and this client gets cold really fast so i didn't want to turn it on because it was early as well and it was already hot but um i didn't want to turn it on so i was trying to wait a little bit before i did turn it on but my acrylic was drying too fast so as you guys can see it's not going on as smoothly as it should be um so i was still trying to make it work i'm having to brush a little bit harder like i really was getting irritated y'all um so i was like I said, brushing it a little bit harder. You guys can see or can tell by the way my brush looks. I'm just trying to make sure that everything is nice and even. Even though like you can kind of tell that it's a little bit bumpy. It's not too bad. So right here, I'm just going in and try to fill it in. So the reason why I wanted to basically keep this footage is just because, you know, we it's always going to be something that comes up when doing nails. You know, like every day is not going to be perfect. Today was one of those days that is i don't know like it was just not working for me but like i said it was only because it was too hot in my room so once i turned the um air conditioner on like the other hand went on super smoothly as always this acrylic goes on like butter super easy to use but if it's not being used in the correct temperature it will get hard a little bit or get yeah basically dry a little bit hard or sorry a little bit faster but that's with any acrylic system them. so again you want to make sure that you always use it at room temperature so um, now I'm just going in and just filling in the nail that I already had acrylic on there so the reason why I did a bead at the tip is because I did file a little bit too much off of the um, at the beginning and so I just wanted to make sure I go ahead and just even the nail out and then just fill in the back of the nail closer to the cuticle area and of course as I'm brushing the acrylic down just brushing very gently that way I'm um, just basically blending the acrylic acrylic in with the product that's already there and then of course cleaning around the cuticle area because we don't want any product on the skin so this bead i'm just placing closer to the cuticle area patting it down very gently making sure that it's as close as we can to the cuticle area but not to where it's on the actual skin and if it does get on there just of course go in with your brush with the very tip and just clean it off immediately that way it doesn't cause lifting um and that's pretty much it but yeah like i said i just wanted to keep that in there um just to show you guys that like even i have my issues every now and then but what matters is that the end result you know still looks good so of course i am gonna do a little bit more falling at the end because i do have those few little bumps and lumps here and there um but that's just you know something that i knew that i was gonna have to do from the beginning and so once i started struggling that's when i was I, I like i literally told my client like look girl i was trying to keep the air conditioner off because i know you get cold but it gotta get turned on because this acrylic is drying too fast and then she ended up going to her car and getting her blanket and then we were fine um for the next hand but just wanted to throw that in but anyways next we're going in with the pinky just placing that first bead right in the middle patting it down and brushing it down towards the tip and during this um like i said this whole hand i was still struggling so that's why you see me brushing so hard but if the room was um at room temperature i definitely wouldn't even be doing like brushing that hard you guys know that i always tell you guys to brush like a in a feather emotion to where you're barely even touching the product but i really was having to drag the product this time
Okay, so when I was doing this nail, this is when I had turned the air conditioner on. So you guys can tell that this nail was definitely a lot smoother. It was almost flawless, especially right here when I turn it to the side. Like we have a nice apex, we have a nice thickness at the tip. It's nice and smooth and the color is just absolutely flawless. So after we finish applying the acrylic on all of the nails, of course, we're going in with the uh, 8080 hand file to reshape the nails. And we're just going in on the sides and the free edge at exactly a 90 degree angle. And then whenever I'm filing the sides, I do tilt my... Um, my file in a little bit to get those rough edges on the sides but for the most part we're doing a 90 degree angle like i said on the sides and that free edge making sure that we hold our file really really straight against the nail that way we get that perfect square shape that we want And this middle finger was the one that I did at the very beginning or the first finger that I did. And so this is the one that had a few little bumps and lumps here and there. So I am going to go in and do a little bit more filing with my hand file over the top of the nail to make sure that I get everything nice and smooth. Because sometimes with the hand file, it is a little bit harder to just smooth it out how I want it. Um, especially when I have those bumps and lumps. So you will see me go in and just file. Um, the top of the nail with my hand file to get it super super smooth like I wanted and then I still am going to go in with the e-file as well to just of course go around that cuticle area to seal the cuticle that way we don't get any lifting All right, y'all, so this is what the nails look like after we did the reshaping and then the falling over the top of the nail. And then next, I'm going in with my tapered fine drill bed and, of course, falling all of the nails around the cuticle area first. 
going from the right side working my way all the way around to the left side and then just following the rest of the nail to make sure that everything is nice and smooth and during this part i am using my e-file at 11,000 rpms and then also i don't think that i mentioned but i am using the melody susie e-file which is called um Oh, I forgot what it's called, y'all. But I know it's down in the description for you guys with a promo code as well. Alrighty, so going through the steps one more time. So working around the cuticle area from the right side all the way over to the left side and then just following the rest of the nail and as you guys can see i am positioning my pinky on the side of my client's finger to get some stability that way as i'm working i have full control over my file at all times Alrighty, so next I'm just going in with my buffer and this is going to get rid of all of the scratches left on the nails from the hand file and the e-file. So you want to make sure that you buff those nails really, really good. That way they're all nice and smooth. So after we finish buffing, I just dust the nails off and then wipe them off with an alcohol wipe. And then for the nail art, I'm going to be using a white gel polish, which is part of my essential collection of my Natalie Carmona collection, which will be dropping soon. And I'm super excited about it. So this essential collection actually comes with a white black blue red a pink a top coat a base coat and a matte top coat and so i'm really excited about it i can't wait to give you guys more details um so stay tuned for that so for this set we're gonna be doing just two designs on two fingers on each hand um so it's basically like a french tip just with a whole bunch of lines and then we are gonna be doing some pearls in between the lines as well and for this i am using my my small nail art brush which are available on my website this set actually comes with a set of three brushes and this is the longest brush that comes in the pack so make sure you guys go check out the website because I will be closing it down here soon for restocking
Alrighty, so I basically did the same thing on the other finger and then after we cured for 60 seconds, I'm just going in and placing some small pearls just randomly on the entire nail. And for that, I'm using the Soleil Nail Adhesive and then to pick up the pearls, I am using my wax pencil, which is also available on the website. So once I finish applying the pearls, I'm going to go in and spray the nails with the hurry up spray, which is going to dry the glue a lot faster. And now I'm going in with my Natalie Carmona gel top coat, which is a non cleanse top coat. And y'all look at how shiny it is is like this is probably the shiniest top coat i've ever used and like i said y'all i am super excited to give you guys more details on this and to just watch and start promoting the gel polish so this is actually one of the reasons why i will be closing down the website here soon i'm going to be adding a lot more items and adding this collection as well as another collection as well so super excited and like i said i'll be sure to give you guys more details on all of this here soon but i'm just gonna do the top coat on all of the nails and then we're gonna cure for 60 seconds Alrighty, y'all so here is the final look as you guys can see they turned out super pretty i love the nude color and then the white design with the pearls and as you guys can see they are absolutely flawless and super shiny Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at getnail32. And I will see you guys next time.